What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to use rack instruments inside of Cubase. Let's get right to it. Okay, so a basic definition of what a rack instrument is in Cubase is pretty much a multi timbral instrument, which means you can have one instance of contact and have 16 different instruments play out of that one instance of contact. If you come from Logic Pro X, it has something called multi timbral instruments and it works just the same way. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this right panel here. This opens up this tab and we're going to make sure that we're on the VSTI tab. After we click the VSTI tab, you're going to click where it says rack and this is going to add a rack instrument. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and click contact. You find contact where you have it in the list and automatically it's going to create this folder structure for you. And it's going to say, do you want to create a MIDI track assigned to the plugin? You're going to say create because we obviously do want a MIDI track. So from here, we're going to create MIDI tracks instead of instrument tracks. So what a MIDI track is, is if you click here, right click in this empty space or press this plus sign or press the letter T, you're going to open up this menu here. And of course, depending on what you press, it, the menu is going to change. So if you press T or the plus button, you're going to have this box come up. You just make sure that you hit MIDI instead of an instrument track, because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make this one instance of contact power 16 different contact instruments. So let's go ahead and just start with the first one. So now that we have this first MIDI instrument up here, you're gonna see that the output here is routed to the one contact MIDI in. So anything we play here is gonna feed into whatever um, the first MIDI track is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a not so intensive patch. Let's just use, let's say this piano. We're going to open up this piano, let it load up, and you're going to see here it says MIDI channel 1. This one is MIDI channel 1, and it says it right here, and it also says it right here. That means if I play this piano, we have signal coming out of this one MIDI track. So now what if I want to add another instrument inside of this one instance of contact? Well, I could definitely do that. So let's go ahead and add something a little bit different. Let's do Voices of War, and let's just do these chants. We're going to open this up, and you're going to see that Contact automatically makes this MIDI channel 2. So let's go ahead and try it out. It doesn't work. There's nothing there because we have to make sure we add another MIDI track. So let's go ahead and add MIDI track. You're going to see this prompt come up. Let's just say you call it. I don't know, MIDI 2. You call it whatever you want. And then you're going to see that it automatically populates to channel 2, populates into the contact MIDI in, which is the same one as this. Now that this one's channel 2 and this is channel 2, we're going to see that we can now play these chants. And if we go back to MIDI channel 1, and notice how they're all coming out of one instance of contact. That's really what the important thing is to take away from this. So what are the benefits of doing it this way? Well, that means you can load up to 16, which is, I believe, what contact allows you to do it, right? 16 MIDI tracks you can have in one instance of contact. That means that instead of having 16 different contacts plugin open, you have one contact plugin open with 16 different sounds that you load up into the patch. This way you could save some CPU, you could save some computer power, and for large session files, you have, instead of 16 different contact folders, I'm sorry, plugins or instances, you have one contact with the 16 plugins inside of it already. So let's go ahead and create another one just to make sure that we're getting the idea here. So I'm going to create, this is MIDI 3. And now this is what I want to happen. Sometimes you're going to get things here where you're going to see that the MIDI channels don't line up. So this is saying two, this is saying two, meaning if I play this, it's still going to be the chance. And 
this is still going to be the chance. Sometimes you even see that it has the incorrect output here, right? So you want to make sure that it outputs to the MIDI in of the channel. So let's say it was here. You got to just make sure that it says contact MIDI in. And then when you load up the other instruments, so let's just go ahead and pick up another instrument. And let's use this one right here. Wait till it loads up. And then when it loads up, it's going to say MIDI channel 3. And now all we need to do is make sure that this number lines up with this right here. So we're going to click, hit 3. This number will also change. You could do it here too. It does not matter. And now when you play this, we now have the voice of this plugin that I chose here. So this is a very, very simple a uh, way of getting started using the rack instruments. In a future video, I'm gonna show you how to route these rack instruments into different stereo outputs. So you don't have to export these tracks one by one. I'm gonna show you how to map it out and put it into all 16 different channels so you can export them all at once. If you have any questions throughout the video, please drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you found the information of this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go and check that out now. Down below, I'm also going to leave my link to my Patreon for a little as a dollar a month. You can help support the channel. These videos do take time and effort to make, so I would greatly appreciate the support. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you guys soon.